it's hard to believe that this is rock. It's not actually wood. Oh, you can tell here, just look at, look at the colors. Wow, look at that. But it, and you can see the rings, but yet it's like quartz looking. That's really something. Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Uh, today we're starting out our day, 7 o'clock in the morning, Gallup, New Mexico. Uh, I'm doing the intro here in my room because outside it's just a dusty industrial park. And this room I got upgraded to was pretty darn nice. I can't believe it. I don't get to stay in these places. Anyway, today we're going to head back towards the Phoenix suburbs. Uh, we're going to have to get on I-40 for a little bit out of Gallup and head to the Petrified Forest National Park. And then uh, we're going to try to take some side roads back towards the northwestern Phoenix suburbs. Maybe we'll let... Uh, the Garmin XT Adventure Mode get us there and see what happens. I have a couple ideas for places I'd like to stop, but I'm thinking I'm going to let the Zumo sort of take charge. Uh, let's take a look at the map really quick and get up to date, and then we'll hit the road. So, yesterday was quite the day, about 350 miles. Uh, we started out at Cliff Dwellers, which is here, you can see on the map. We had to backtrack on 89A back to Bitter Springs where we took Highway 89 up towards Page. We then took 98 all the way around past Crossroads Trading Post to 160, which we took up here a little ways. Then we took this, uh, sorry, uh, Took the wrong one. We went up past Ziggy to BIA 59, which was paved and remote and just gorgeous. And we took that all the way through to many farms, the 191 to Chinle, where we went into the Canyon de Chile National Monument, where we wove around, did some of the overlooks, went over to Spider Rock. We wanted to take this road, but there's a, there was a road work and the road was unpassable, so we actually had to backtrack a little ways. On 191, we then took 264 towards the Navajo Nation capital, where we went to Window Rock. From there, it was just, uh, I thought it was 15 miles, but it was actually about 30 that we went out to Gallup, which is sort of off the map. Well, we're off internet. I find it very interesting that uh, after all this time and all these miles that uh, here we are again on Route 66, this time in Gallup, New Mexico. So from here, we're gonna be making our way to the Petrified Forest. That should be pretty fun. Uh, it's a little cooler this morning than I'm used to. We're at a higher elevation. But uh, yeah, should be fun, should be a good day. Okay, here we are on Interstate 40, leaving Gallup, heading towards the border here. Pretty cool. The terrain looks familiar, even some of the uh, roadside attractions. Well, here we are, Petrified Forest National Park. Never been here. Kind of excited. That's okay. Wow. Pretty impressive. Let's go take a look at the observation point. Okay, internet, 
here we are, one of the first stops in the Petrified Forest National Park. This is called the Painted Desert Rim. Wow. It's pretty amazing. It seems to go on and on and on. Stunning. I've not seen anything like this in our travels so far. Very interesting. Who knew? Well, we're about halfway through the park. Pretty interesting. It's a lot like a lot of the terrains we've seen on our journey, but kind of all crammed into one space. I'm glad these areas are preserved. That's, that's a really no wow. Look at this. That's a really nice feature about national parks. These are just protected and will be preserved. And I think that's really important. Oh, there's some of uh, the petrified wood. You can see it alongside the road there. Okay, sorry, it's quite windy again today, but wow, look at this stuff. It just goes on and on. You can just get right up. It's hard to believe that this is rock. It's not actually wood. Oh, you can tell here, just look at, look at the colors. Wow, look at that. But it, and you can see the rings, but yet it's like quartz looking. That's really something. Yeah, here too. Very interesting geological phenomenon. It's quite interesting. It definitely is wood, but yet you see the crystals. Look, you can just see it all, all along the road. It's everywhere. It is a petrified forest. Here we are in the little town of Holbrook. What do you know, once again, coming on Route 66. Well, Seems like you can't escape it in Arizona, right? Route 66, there's a sign too. Why not? We've been on it a lot this trip, haven't we? A beautiful stretch of American road. Okay, internet, I just had to stop. We're at the famous Wigwam Motel. Look at this. Here they are. We're on Route 66, of course. Look at that. Old place. Full of old cars. It's as windy as the Dickens today, man. Look at all these places, huh? That's what you picture when you picture Route 66, isn't it? All these old cars. Wigwam Motel, and it looks like it's open. I don't want to go up to any of them just because it looks like it's legit, like you can stay here. <laughs> but I wanted to get a little bit of it on video. I rode by, I had to turn around and come back. All right, internet, we just had to do one more thing. I keep running into this guy pretty much all day. Here we are at the Wigwam. What's your name? My name is Ian. Ian, oddly enough, from Scotland, I can see. I've been uh, running into him periodically all day. Where are you coming from, Ian? Um, this morning, I have been so many places this past week and a half, I've forgotten where it was. Um, just uh, a few miles, 100 miles back down the road, I've forgotten the name of it. Yeah, 
that's okay. Where did you start out with this? Well, I started trip? off in uh, Chicago. I'm trying to do Route 66. Oh, awesome. But the navigation tools are pretty poor. Cool. So and it's I've just far it. where, it, yeah, where very, it is, where it isn't. Very difficult to follow. So ultimately, you're heading for LA. LA. Yeah. I'm coming the other way. I'm from San Diego, and I picked it up just north of Joshua Tree around Amboy. Oh, you know, well, that, uh, that I'll one of the shops, I think, yeah, on yeah. the route. It certainly yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, the Roy's, Roy's yeah, Cafe Roy's and Museum. Yeah. yeah. We were there, I don't even know, a week ago? I, I'm sorry. I'm like you, I forgot how many days it's been. I'll have a list of hotels. Yeah. And in the afternoon, I put them in the sat nav. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Anyway, get up in the morning and go. I just briefly wanted to. I had to get it on film to keep running yeah. into each other. Yeah. And you. Again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take care. No trip to this area is complete without a visit to Winslow, Arizona. And uh, I will spare you all the cliches. But I think you just have to drive by it, don't you? Here we are, downtown Winslow, Arizona on Route 66. Here's the famous corner. Everyone taking pictures. There's the sign. We're not going to stop. We've seen enough. It's pretty busy. Things are a little nutty, but we did it. Continuing on. Arizona 87. What an interesting little town. They're making the most of their history, aren't they? All it takes is one song. Yeah, maybe a couple songs, but anyway. And two blocks. You are back out in the middle of the desert and again it is windy as all hell today. I cannot believe the wind. Worst wind we've had yet. Okay we're starting to uh, gradually climb elevation here. You can see the grasslands and the wind is just Okay, still on 87. Uh, obviously, we continue to gain elevation as we head up the mountain here. Uh, we're back in the pines, so that's cool. Variety. Okay, we're up about 7,500 feet now. Uh, I think we're heading on, let's see, 260. And we're going to start heading over to Camp Verde for one of our uh, last uh, sites that we want to stop at and we should start coming down off the mountain. Wow, things really open up down here. Getting down around 4,000 feet, I think. Yeah, things really open up, it's beautiful. Really losing elevation, we're back into more of a desert kind of uh, terrain, really nice. This valley just opens right up in front of you. Camp Verde is down there. Almost down. We'll be coming into Camp Verde shortly. It's right down there. I understand. Uh, look at all that green down there. I guess that's how it got its name. Be glad to get out of this wind. Okay. Came to a, our last stop for today. This is called Montezuma's Castle. Uh, this was actually built by Native Americans in the around 1100. And when our early American settlers came here, they assumed it was Aztec in origin and named it Montezuma's Castle. That also stemmed with uh, another local legend that Montezuma's Lake, which is a little north of here, and we're not gonna go to that because it's not actually Aztec, um, is where Montezuma hid his gold. Uh, neither of those things is true, uh, but it's a cool location. Quite impressive, right? Anyway, it's a cool national monument uh, in a national park, so I thought I'd stop here. Uh, we got about two hours to go back to Phoenix, and we're going to hit the road, and uh, it's pretty much going to be our last stop for the day. So. Um, it's been a cool day, windy as all hell. Just probably the windiest day yet in a while, in a long while on the bike. It was pretty brutal. 
So I'm feeling pretty beat up. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon. So you got a pretty interesting view from this vantage point as well. So I thought I'd take another shot from over here. You can just sort of see the those side doors there from this angle. Pretty impressive st structure, honestly. Okay, let's hit the road. Wow, that was kind of cool. Hopefully it turns out, the video turns out. It was impressive. Okay, I think that was really kind of our last stop. What a day. What a strange day. And windy. That was, that was one of the windiest days on the bike that I can remember in some time. Man, I, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but goodness gracious, the, uh, the wind is howling up here. Tell you what, I thought the wind would let up a little bit after we got off the mountain, but it is still screaming. I'm gonna have to look up what the wind was up there in the mountain.